Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, and today we're going to turn to Luke 24, verses 36 through 43. And as they were talking about these things, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and frightened and thought they saw a ghost. And he said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he would said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and were marveling, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish. And he took it and ate before them. So a couple things here. Uh, I just thought we've got a few more resurrection appearances, even though we finished uh, the Gospel of John to the very end. There's a few more appearances in some of these other uh, books. And here we see Jesus appears and the disciples are scared. And he says, see, it's me. I, you know, look at my wounds. You can see my hands and my feet where the the nails were and everything so jesus um understands that they need to know uh, more about him and who who he is and what's happened they need this physical proof before they can believe that he is risen same thing that we condemn thomas for some people uh doubting thomas he didn't believe well, guess what? None of the disciples believed, and here's another version of that story that, that tells you the same thing. Uh, they didn't believe, and then he showed them his hands and his feet, and they do believe. So that's there's one thing. So again, put that doubting Thomas thing aside. Don't worry about Thomas. Um, the other thing is that Luke includes that he ate a piece of fish. Why would Luke bother with that detail? Anyone? Here's the thing. The early church lived in a time of, of um, a lot of Gnostics running around. And Gnosticism is what we call a philosophy. I guess they called it that back then. But, but it had to do with, you know, getting special knowledge, gnosis, and, and having this knowledge and being able to... Um, uh, to to uh, leave this earthly plane of existence, this physical plane of existence, and move to a spiritual plane because of this knowledge. And if you had this knowledge, you could do that. And um, early Christians, there were a lot of early Christian Gnostics, and and the um, for Gnostics, basically, the physical world was bad and spiritual world was good. Well. For Christians, it wasn't that way. The physical world is good because God made it good. Um, and so how can they demonstrate that Jesus has come back in his body? Well, if he ate a piece of fish, it must be a physical body. And that's Luke's point. He ate a piece of fish. His body was what came back, was resurrected, and... Um, we know that it was him because of the wounds, and we know that he was physical because he ate a piece of fish. And so there's no there's no Gnostic stuff going on here. He just came back, and that makes all the difference for us. And so um, when you see, you know, if someone says, well, yeah, but it was just a spiritual thing. No, he ate some fish. Don't forget that fish. He ate that fish. Uh, another time he cooks breakfast, as we've seen, but... Um, here he actually was, was shown eating it, and that, that's important. So remember that the, the resurrection, however you want to think about it and understand it, it was a bodily resurrection. And, um, and the physical world is, is a good thing. It, yeah, it's tainted by sin. There's all kinds of, of uh, bad things in the world, but the world itself is good, and we should remember that too. So don't let go of that. Um, and we will see you tomorrow and do a little bit more with the end of Luke. So um, have a great have a great day.